The mask I found was the Mask of Light. The Turaga sent me on a quest to find the Seventh Toa. Seventh Toa? Only the Seventh Toa can wear the mask. And where is the Seventh Toa? I don't know. And now I've lost the mask to those creatures, and they're heading to destroy the Koro. The Turaga say they are Rakshi, the sons of the Makuta, deadliest of foes. Makuta. Brother, see the Chronicler to safety. I will deal with the Rakshi. Hello, this is Beaver House and Productions, and welcome back to Let's Play Bionicle the Game. I am Bikini, your glorious and efficacious host, and these are our co-hosts, Joe Squared. Why is my internet fucking up? What? what? What's going on? Oh, I heard you say, I am Vakiti Squared. Oh. Vakiti <laughs> Squared. That's impossible. There can, o there can be only one. I am not I am Bittle. Z, and this is my co-host, Vakiti Squared. I am not yeah. Bittle. No, you're Vakiti Squared. God damn it. Anyways, this the is the, this is the Tahu Nuva level, which isn't really that hard. I used to hate get try to get all the light stones. Oh well. yeah, the light stones are hard to get. One <laughs> thing I did notice. Do it. One Wait, interesting thing. Can you find a Kirak? Yeah. Okay. Because Kirak has so Kurok. much to do with lava. Kurok. Well, it doesn't matter which one. Ku Kurok. It's Ku? It's Ku, yes. Okay, Ku. I could do it. I can't okay, remember. Everybody, it okay, everybody, that's your Spin important like information for today. <laughs> it's Ku, not Ki. <laughs> it's, dude, it's been like eight years at least. It's been over. No, it. it's been one year short. It's been uh, one year over a decade exactly. Uh, Mask of Light was uh, ten uh, in 2013. It's been like ten years since they were freaking relevant. Yeah. And after that, they were just like that's kind of sad though. Like they were super big threats. Then you realize no, they're just generic minions. <laughs> they kill them all the time. <laughs> Anyways, I was gonna say, um, <laughs> an interesting thing I noticed about this level, uh, the Xbox version and some other versions of the game have one frame of... It's some kind of graphical bug where one frame before the level starts, you see the character in, like, an odd place in the level. And you see Tahu Nuva standing on the ground, holding both of his magma swords, which... As you can probably guess, he is incapable of doing in the in the playable game. So at some part of the game, if there was a way to delay the cutscene that takes you into the lava area, you could probably hack the game into playing as Tahu Nuva on foot. That'd be cool. Wait, did he transform into friggin' Tahu Bata right there? No. Got hit? Yeah, oh. this is this is Super Mario Brothers. You get hit with a mushroom, you revert to your old form. <laughs> oh, that's not what I meant. I just said they were being extra lazy. So wait, it's so the, me. It's all who knew of us. So the mask of light is a go so the mask of life is a goomba now. Yeah. Because yep. that—that's what happened to Nonbara Magna. Tahu just Matanui just hit him in the head with a goomba, and suddenly he's Tahu Mata again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No, Matanui is Bowser. There, oh. we got it. We're done here, folks. That's the end of the game. This is just the last boss deck. Yeah, yeah. Um, credits! Roll the credits Jesus for the game at the end of that, that episode. Sick. No, hey, uh, th this isn't the end yet. I'm going to mix the Takanuva uh, part into this. Oh, well, roll no. the credits at the end of that sequence, then. <laughs> it has gained sentience! Facehugger! Facehugger! I love how he doesn't go to stop it or anything. He's just Why like, does the mask have eyes when it's going up to his face? So I, have a real, I have a real question. I have a real question. Why the hell did they just use the scene for the movie? Because they they this was <laughs> Argonaut when they weren't competent. Behold, Makuta! I, the Seventh Toa, have come to banish your darkness forever and return Mata Nui from his fitful slumber. You defend me? All by yourself? You are nothing. I shall defeat you. You must die! 
Seriously, Makuta's voice acting is almost as bad as canon in Faces of Evil. Can I finish what I was saying now, or are you going to yell at me now? Uh, well, you'll have to start what you were saying, because nobody would have ever heard it. Okay, so, during the cutscene that, that Bikini doesn't like showing us talking during, because he's a poop face, <laughs> uh, Whipples meant... Whi wait. No, uh, Liam asked why the Mask of Light has eyes when Takua isn't wearing it, and Whipples was all like, because Argonaut is lazy. I said when Argonaut was lazy. Okay, well, who said what then? I just asked why they didn't use the cutscene for the movie. Oh. Oh, by Wait, the way, this is probably the, bug? This is probably Hodo bug. This is probably the only time you will ever see Makuta summoning Rai. So drink it all in. Yeah, I actually <laughs> like that. Hodobugs. Yeah, anyway. and those are Hodo bugs. Yes. Yeah. So I was gonna, I was gonna say what the, what the game, what the video game designer reason is for not using movie cutscenes in a game. The Lego Movie did it, so your argument is invalid. No, no. What, what I came up with was, okay, um, tell me your some game develop, some game designers uh, do it, do it intentionally to provide cohesiveness to the game. Right. Um, because the Lego Movie, because the Bionicle Movie's uh, art design is slightly different from the game's design. Right. It would, it would, uh, it would, uh, it wouldn't really. Yeah. Oh. Cause combine very well and okay. leave for an incohesive storyline. So before we finish this segment, Joe, what were you saying about the Rahi? Yeah, okay. First off, it makes sense that right back. It actually does, oddly enough. Maybe they don't know why. But, you know, they were made to take Rahi, so it makes perfect sense he would do it. Right. But, why did he summon Rakshi? Because Rakshi are boss characters. So, if we've seen anything in the, in the next, like, seven years of Bionicle after this game, Rakshi <laughs> are bitches. Well, even in Bionicle Heroes, they're bosses. <laughs> Rakshi are bitches. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, it makes sense. See, I mean, he was created to create the Rahi, even though he just decided, fuck it, I'm gonna rule the world. That's a better idea. Yeah. <laughs> What I don't understand, honestly, what I don't understand, I know, okay, I know it's part of his set, but even that's supposed to be a movie tie-in, so why the hell is he using a Coley staff to fight here? I thought it was, well, you know, I guess it is technically a Coley staff, but the, I actually like the design of it. The only reason he pulled it out of his ass was because he wanted to play Coley with Takua. Or Takanuva, I guess, and... Uh, I guess, but look... We'll Takanuva's just... Staff of Light was created from a Coley stick! Look, I think, in, I think if I remember in the Bionicle Encyclopedia or something, it's called the Staff of Shadows or some nonsense. Okay. There you go. Alright. <laughs> that Nui Rama is a little bitch there. That's a Nui Rama? It doesn't look anything like one. I know, but apparently it is. I thought it was some completely different <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> and uh, what, is what is that feature? giant shadow sphere? I never got that. What is that? I don't know, it's just sort of there. Why did I have to follow him? I don't oh, know. Oh, fuck, it's time to play, it's time to like Yeah, fight. now it's time to play Coley. <laughs> Look, it's time to fight Ganondorf. <laughs> gonna be like, he's gonna be like, ah, and then you're gonna take out your empty bottle and start reflecting. <laughs> the chains! No! Dude, that's, that's what you can do in OOT, right? You uh -huh. can re shoot the energy blast, and then you can reflect it with your freaking empty bottle. <laughs> you could use your sword, but the empty bottle is way stupider. <laughs> uh, well, Takanuma uses a shield, so it makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense that a mask of shielding should be able to defeat Makuta. <laughs> Hell no. Well, at least it makes sense that it could reflect projectiles. Why yeah. does the bottle do it? <laughs> I think it. It, it, uh, it. Wait. It, uh. It linked to the past. Doesn't the. The butterfly. Uh, the bug catching net reflects. Uh. Basically, there's this boss. His name is Agate Nib. 
He's he's his exact same fight as Phantom Ganon and Ganondorf from OT. Okay so, then. Shoots the energy blast and you reflect it. Okay. Yeah, you can use a freaking bug hit. Okay. Sorry for that. Oh man, imagine. This you have beaten the game yet. You missed half the boss fight and us talking about why the Mask of Shielding can defeat Makuta. So yeah. I take it we haven't beaten it yet. No. Look. It's like technically the ma technically the Mask of Shielding would be completely in impossible to ever beat in an enclosed that, fight. That texture looping on the walls, by the way. <laughs> this is supposed to be a really long metal corridor, no, so... No, but look at how the texture's looping. It doesn't even match up. You can see the seam when it comes up. Look. Oh. You'd figure down in bedrock, gates of modern Stone Age family. <laughs> anyway, From the town of something something cats. Okay, Josie. Yes. Why did they decide to make the Bakuda's last boss fight uh, identical to Ganondorf's? Because the Legend of Zelda makes money. <laughs> oh my god. Nah, I know why. It's because of a stinking movie, the exact same stupid thing happened. Because The Legend of Zelda makes money. Let's take a closer look at your shadows. Look, they finally reached the bottom of the pit where I assumed they will... Ah! Uh, the the chains! No! no! <laughs> Fusion. <laughs> that is not at all what that set looks like. <laughs> I wish it looked that good. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably the only really good model in this game. <laughs> and it's only for this. Yeah. Alternatively, I wouldn't mind seeing the way it was in the movie, but this is buildable out of existing parts, so I can't it is? complain. It is? It's basically just Makuta with gold armor and the Mask of Light instead of the Shadow Mask. Then you why didn't they do that? I don't know. Oh. No, oh, he is he is somewhat based off Takuda Nuva because he does have the hose underneath his like body. I, I can't describe. Well, that's true, so, I guess. You know. Wait, we can talk during the credits, or is yes, that a we can, we can talk no, no, during we can't. the credits? The credits are too important. <laughs> so that yeah. was the game, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Credit How much? This cost the, sixty bucks when it was new, huh? And I did some research, and apparently it was the European version of the PS2 version of the game that included the Chronicler staff. So Seems it wasn't kind of arbitrary. It wasn't that uncommon of a uh, collectible at the time. Well, now I have a ton of them. So. Yeah, it seems pretty arbitrary that such a that such a limit that that had such a limited release. Yeah. Well, of course, it also seems arbitrary that Liam doesn't like his co-host talking during cutscenes and everybody in the world can just Google. I don't want people to have to Google them to watch them when they can just watch them in the video that they're currently watching. <laughs> Liam, you're the reason well, why... So, well, people can just Google Let's Plays of games you don't want to play, but that doesn't mean you want to play them. Now does it? Look, you're the reason why Sakurai is making a one-player mode for Smash 4. I am? Well, not you, but people like you. That's a good thing. Yeah, yeah I'll, I don't know the face was terrible, and I don't really care that it's gone, but still. Hey, I like the fact that the subspace army is in this one-player mode, because they definitely improved what they put in that army. I like the ancient I, minister I and seeing Master Hand get murdered. Dude, Those I'll were literally my only two the only two things I liked about subspace. And then Sonic saved everybody's ass. Okay, <laughs> my mistake. I like three things about <laughs> subspace. I like the part where he's where Cap Falcon jumps down the pit, they're all down there, and he's like snaps his fingers like come out and then the <laughs> the Okay, that was kinda cool too. Is down and he okay, most up. of the most of the of the character stuff was cool, and now the, the episode is over and Liam probably cut off this conversation. We'll see you in the next Let's Play, guys. Oh, you didn't? Good. <laughs> okay. So what I was saying is...